All right, hello everybody. We're back with another question. This question is from the IV Chemistry Paper 1 HL and it's from the November 2020 batch. So this question asks us, which molecule can be oxidized to a carboxylic acid by acidified potassium dichromate? Now, potassium dichromate is an oxidizing agent, meaning that it gets reduced in order to oxidize another substance. So basically they've asked us, which of the following substances, A, B, C, or D, can be oxidized into a carboxylic acid? Now, let's just look at our options. We can see that the similarity between all these options is that they involve the substance propanol or they involve a three carbon substance. So whatever the substance is, it has three carbons except for C, which appears to have a methyl group on the second carbon. So other than C, all the others have three have only three carbons, but C has an additional methyl group over here. But still, uh, nonetheless, that doesn't change anything because the substance is still considered as a propane substance, or it's, called, it's still considered as propane. Right? So now I'm going to draw the structures of each of these. So since I have already done the uh, uh, sort of a base structure of this of uh, answer C, I'm just going to continue with it. Let's just fill this up. So it says that it's two methyl propane two all. So it's propane two all, meaning the OH group is on the second carbon. So you'll find that over here. So this is a structure of C. Now, by just looking at this, you will know that this cannot actually be oxidized into, um, sorry, this cannot be oxidized into carboxylic acid because this is actually a tertiary carbon or a tertiary alcohol, sorry. And tertiary alcohols cannot be oxidized at all. And why is it tertiary? It's tertiary, it's considered as tertiary because the carbon to which the hydroxide group or the hydroxyl group is attached to, this carbon over here is attached to three other carbons. That means that it is a tertiary alcohol or a ter yeah, it's a, it's a tertiary alcohol and this cannot be oxidized. So this is out of the question. So answer C is completely wrong. Um, this is not possible. So we can cross this out. Now let's look at D, propanone. Let's draw the structure of propanone. So this is propanone. It's a as you can see, there is no hydroxyl group on this. This isn't even an alcohol. So this is also out. Then let's look at A and B. Now I'm going to draw this both structures of both A and B for comparison. So let's let's take a look at A. So this is propane one all. So it's going to be like this. So this is for A, and this is B. So, sorry. Now, out of both these structures, the right answer is actually A. Why? Because if you look at the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is attached to, this carbon is only attached to one other carbon. And that means that this is a primary alcohol. So if you oxidize a primary alcohol, it will first be converted into an aldehyde and it will then be converted into a carboxylic acid if you continue the oxidizing process. However, in part B, this is a secondary alcohol. This substance can be oxidized. It can, unlike the tertiary alcohol, this can be oxidized. However, when oxidized, it will actually convert into a, into propanone. It will convert into a ketone, it will convert into propanone and propanone cannot be further oxidized. So this is automatically wrong. So the correct answer is A. And I hope that you found this video helpful. 
Um, I'll see you in another video with a new question. Send me your questions or any other doubts that you may have via my social media, my social media or my email, or drop them down in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.